how can we teach other men about masculinity without ego getting in the way or without seeming soft? Sun Tzu said, a leader leads by example, not by force. And the late, great Richard Marcinko, who was a Navy SEAL who founded SEAL Team 6, he said, a leader leads from the front, not the rear. And so you teach people, your kids are going to follow what you do, not necessarily what you say. So you got to set good examples. And if you're familiar with my work, 3% Man, and you're applying it and you're getting the results, your life will be an example for those people around you. And when they see that you're succeeding, then you give them the confidence to follow your example because if they follow your example and they exhibit the same behaviors of masculinity, they're going to get the same type of results. Yeah, I would say take ego out of it completely because it's not about ego. It's about being masculine, being confident, right? It's about demonstrating who you are. Yeah. Because truth doesn't need any explanation. It doesn't need validation. It's self-evident. Mm-hmm. And ego is, you know, pounding on your chest. I'm masculine. I'm alpha male. I'm this, I'm that, whatever it happens Looking to be. for validation. Yeah, exactly. Looking for approval. Mm-hmm. And if you just live your life and let your works speak for you, if you let other people sing your praises, and it's like what Jocko Willing says, be humble or you will be humbled. So let other people sing your praises, Keep your head down, stay disciplined, be humble, don't let people dick you around, don't let pe- you know, set and enforce healthy boundaries with people, but let others talk about how great you are or how great your work is or the way you live is. Let your example speak louder than anything. And the softness comes from being appeasing others or trying to be a pleaser, right? Like, is that what he's saying? Being too soft? Yeah, being too soft is not standing up for yourself. Not when somebody violates your boundaries, you just let them slide. You don't call them out. You don't check them on it. Because whatever you tolerate, you're going to invite more of into your life. And if you allow people to walk all over you, then they perceive you as weak. Weakness invites aggression. I mean, look, look what's going on with Russia and Ukraine. Even, uh, what's his name, Trevor Novak came out and said, Bill Maurer said the same thing. It was like, if Trump was in office, Putin would have never invaded because Putin knew he could get away with it. He knew Biden was going to do anything. Yeah. He knew he was going to, I mean, the guy's out of it. 